Hey folks, I have a few tidbits here to give you on Tears of the Kingdom, some updates to the game, also some stuff dealing with some behind the scenes ongoings, and a stern warning I'm just going to hand out right now, because frankly, it could be any day now that we need to be paying attention what am I talking about in regards to Tears of the Kingdom? Well, before we jump into it, I want to remind you we do have a giveaway going on right now for a Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition Switch OLED. We're also going to be giving away a Zelda Collector's Edition, so a Collector's Edition of Tears of the Kingdom, and a pin from PAX East. You can enter right now in the pinned comment or down in the description, and we're on our road to 133,000 subscribers, so if you want to subscribe for all of that Zelda news, the massive Tears of the Kingdom live stream we have coming up, our Nintendo Prime podcast we do every single Wednesday night live, or other Nintendo news, because we are a Nintendo news channel, just go ahead, hit that subscribe, and let's get into the video. All right, so... We have the three big things we need to talk about. First, let's get into this weird update that appeared on the Japanese website. We got a couple new things off the website we need to pay attention to. One of them has to do with the file size. So for the longest time, the file size listed for Tears of the Kingdom has been 18 plus gigabytes, right? Making it the largest first party Nintendo Switch game to date in terms of file size. Well, the Japanese website has been updated slightly and now displays 16 gigabytes for the file size. That is now 2 gigabytes less than what they've been advertising this whole time. Now, why did 2 gigabytes suddenly get cut from the game? Well, it's possible through different compression methods. They were able to get the file size down to a more reasonable uh, a more reasonable amount. It's also entirely possible they just want to fit it on a 16 gigabyte cartridge, which could save Nintendo a little bit of money. So there's that as well. It's also possible there could be additional downloads day one where it ends up being 18 gigabytes, but we have 16. I don't know. Maybe some stuff got cut for DLC. There's a whole lot of possibilities here. It's really hard to pinpoint why the file size this close to launch suddenly dropped two whole gigabytes, but that is what is listed on the Japanese website. And maybe it's just the Japanese version that is at that size because the size hasn't changed on the Nintendo Switch eShop here in the United States. Now, that's not the only update from the Nintendo of Japan website. Then we actually head over to the Japanese Tears of the Kingdom website we gain an extra piece of information that I think most of us probably already figured was true, but wasn't confirmed until now. And that is that Nintendo of Japan's Tears of the Kingdom website has now confirmed that the runes in the sky are not from the surface. So it's not like Skyward Sword where Skyloft and such was lifted from the ground and put into the sky, but rather they were up there this whole time. So that is just something to consider. The image on it says, specifically, once you use a little translation tool, uh, that the castle rises to the surface, so like the castle does rise up a little bit, and mysterious runes descend from the sky, pretty much confirming they've been up there this whole time. Uh, there was obviously a change in the sky to enable some of the little bits to fall down to the surface. And yeah, Link throws himself into an endless adventure again. So... This is just stuff to sit there and think about uh, and ponder on from the Japanese websites, things that are not currently updated on the U.S. Zelda websites. All right, we also have some additional information here on Tears of the Kingdom. Two pieces of information I want to get to. The first one is actually a little bit exciting. Uh, you guys know tomorrow we're officially three weeks away from the game launching, but what's really interesting is I have now heard from six different media sources behind the scenes that review copies are currently being sent out for tears of the kingdom remember six different sources on this one that review copies are being sent out this is pretty early for review copies to be sent out i actually expected them to be sent out next week but then if they're being sent out today it is friday so it's kind of just the weekend before next week so it would make a lot of sense i have no updates for you on ndas or anything or when to expect previews or reviews or any of that we'll probably get that stuff leaked out at some point next week from uh, one of these outlets but yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's just a nice reminder of how close Tears of the Kingdom is that review copies are actually in some people's hands and there are people right now outside of Nintendo officially, legally playing Tears of the Kingdom. 
I think that is really exciting. Now, our last bit of news, and this is one that, be still my heart, this is a reminder. We had a person on Twitter post an update. This person, this person on Twitter being DB Geek, and he posted, hey, uh, don't ask questions, just leave a like and move on, holding a box copy of Tears of the Kingdom. And then he later shows another image saying follow if you want one. Now, yeah, he's, he's doing a giveaway for Tears of the Kingdom and all that. But that's besides the point. Obviously, he's sitting there holding on to physical copies of Tears of the Kingdom. Now, of note, these physical copies, he hasn't confirmed or denied this, are highly likely not actually like real physical copies. They're probably placeholder boxes at a store like EB Games or GameStop or Games UK. But here's one thing that is obvious about this. It's a nice reminder that sometime in the next two weeks, Tears of the Kingdom is going to leak online. It's just going to happen. Remember, we got like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leaked online almost three weeks early. So I just want to throw out there that we need to be very, very wary about Tears of the Kingdom. Right here on our channel, you can just guarantee we will not be doing anything other than a final reminder once it leaks. Uh, so you will get a video from telling you that it leaked. It is now leaked. So now is the time to turn on all of your uh, notifications or turn off your notifications for Tears of the Kingdom or something. But on our channel, we're going to keep it safe. Once the game leaks, you're not going to hear about any more leaks or any other information about Tears of the Kingdom that's not official media. Uh, that's just the way we have chosen to handle this situation. It's the way we choose it to handle with every single major release. So when Pikmin 4 leaks, you know, in July, yeah, we're, we're going to warn you about that as well. But uh, we, we, we try to stay pretty faithful to just the official stuff once the game leaks, because I think at that point it's it, it's way too unfair to be talking about game leaks. And pretty much all the leaks we've talked about so far have been actually official Nintendo media just leaking early anyways, right? The commercial or the art book and stuff like that. So look, it's going to happen. It's going to be extremely disappointing when it does, but I just wanted to put that on your radar. Review copies are being sent out. There is a, a risk that someone could leak a copy from the reviews However, it's pretty unlikely that's the case. Almost every single leak comes from a retail copy getting out into the wild early. And yeah, stores are going to start receiving those retail copies here in the next couple of weeks so they can prepare for launch and get people hyped. So just need to start paying attention, guys. Those uh, physical copies of the game are already printed and probably already in transit right now. Uh, so it just keep in mind that Tears of the Kingdom will 100% absolutely leak. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today for Tears of the Kingdom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll be back at it tonight. Uh, we'll be talking about some, uh, some, some topics about Nintendo along with playing Breath of the Wild Master Mode, uh, doing Eventide Island. We're literally right outside the island, ready to go. So we're going to be diving into that, hopefully, conquering that tonight uh and then who knows i mean maybe we'll dabble in trial of the sword i'm a little afraid of trial of the sword but uh maybe i shouldn't be i've never tried it in master mode it's gonna be bad i just know it thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video